Hi, it's Sunday here. And you know, what we're gonna talk about are three areas of your business that need the DEA. And you know, it's not what you're thinking. It's not Drug Enforcement Agency, but an acronym that I've come up with that really helps you save time and effort in your travel business. Let's get started. So DEA stands for Definition, Evaluation, and Automation. Now, listen, I know trying to automate your travel business is not the thing that you wake up in the morning thinking about what you want to do. But really, if you can just sit down and think about the areas of your business that you don't really like to do so much and apply this strategy you're going to find some much success in terms of saving time in your travel business and also getting those things off your list that are not the most fun things for you to do. So D stands for definition. It really is around thinking about the thing, the task, the the fill in the blank that you really just don't enjoy doing. For me, that thing is emails. I just don't like writing emails generally. Sitting down, thinking about what I'm going to say, writing them, sending them, remembering to send them. So when it comes to definition, define the emails that you do in your travel business pretty regularly, right? So one of the emails that we do on an ongoing basis is we send emails to our clients after they purchase either a course, they go on a trip, they approve a proposal, we send an email. And my process is really what the next step is in terms of the E of the, the DEA is evaluation. Well, what do you do with that particular thing that you don't really like doing? So for me, when it comes to email, what I do, I go and I find an email that I've already written. I go in my Google mail of all things. I go and email, look to see the kind of email that I've already written and I leverage that so I don't have to start from scratch. Then I go and I search my email. Okay, have I written a welcome message before? So I copy that welcome message and then I wordsmith it and then I go and send it off. So as a part of the evaluation process for your task or or event that you have to do is evaluate what you're doing currently today and then really think about what you want it to be. What I really like to happen when it comes to those emails is I'd like it to automatically go out. After a purchase, I want it to just go out without me having to think about it. I don't wanna have to wordsmith it. I want it already to go out, send it to the client automatically. So part of that evaluation is to think about what do you want it to do for you? So now that I've evaluated that task and I know what I'm currently doing, I know what I want it to do, I'm now gonna determine, do I really wanna automate it? And the answer is yes. Why do I want to automate it? Well, I want to automate it so it can eliminate me having to do it. I want to automate it so it doesn't get forgotten because there's many times that events like people have made purchases and I didn't set up and they don't get the email. I get busy. Purchases have happened, right? And I get busy. And so I want to eliminate the forgetting that happens when I don't do it. I also want um, to do this because it's going to save me time, right? I'm not going to have to stop and search for an email to figure out what I've already said in the past and do that, right? So it's going to save me time. And then the other thing in terms of the why I want to do it is it's actually going to improve the client experience, right? So in this situation, if I send this email automatically every single time there's a purchase, that means my clients are going to be better prepared for the next steps. It's gonna confirm for them that they've made the right decision in their purchase, right? So for you, when it comes to that evaluation, making sure you understand why you wanna do the automation before you actually design the automation is a really powerful uh, justification for yourself as to should you proceed for. And then the last step is automate is, okay, I wanna automate this, like I don't wanna do it. Is there a tool that will allow me to do it? Or is there a person I could hire to do it, right? Could I either use a tool or could I use a person? And in this situation, you know, we often think, oh, I need to get a tool. But when you ask yourself this next question, which is, you know, what do I need to get in order to make it happen with a tool or a person? Sometimes it's cheaper for you not to get the knowledge and buy a tool and just outsource it to an admin. So when it comes to really evaluating, 
should you use a tool or outsource the task, right? Do that analysis that, that just says, hey, is it quicker for me to just give this task, write it down, explain what I want to do and have an admin do it or outsource it to do it? Or do I want to get a tool that does it, learn the tool, figure out how to set it up and get it done? Whatever you decide in this automation step, really think about though what it's going to take to get it done. So this question around what's it going to take to get it uh, implemented is an important step in determining automation. And so the next thing that I really am determining in automation is if I have to learn it, like where can I get the learning? Is it an easy tool to implement? Is it easy to hire somebody to do this, right? And both of those answers can be uh, can be acquired pretty quickly, right? It doesn't take a lot of effort for you to do some research. And listen, if you don't know, you can always ask me. You can reply in this uh, in this video and with the question right in this video and ask me. Listen, Sunday, do you have an opinion on this? And you know what? I'm going to give it to you, right? Particularly when it comes around automating tasks in your travel business, just pop the question right here and I'll get you the answer. If I know it and if I don't, I'll let you know that as well. So always seeing if there's an expert in a particular area that you want to automate, that's always the first step that I look for. I'm always looking for the best of breeds when it comes to tools. And then when it comes to evaluating if I'm going to outsource something, I'm asking the person that I'm going to outsource, like, is this their superpower? Is this the thing that they love to do? Is this their jam? And if it is, then that's just one more thing that gives me um, the okay to proceed forward. So now that you've got the D, E, and A of uh, your task that you don't want to do, I encourage you to actually sit down and actually do it, right? Think about one or two things that you just absolutely don't care for doing. Do these steps, follow the strategy, and then determine if you're ready to automate it. Because you know what? Avoidance is costly. Just because you don't like to do a thing, if it's a critical thing in your travel business, you should do it. Doesn't mean that you always have to do it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like this uh, video, subscribe to this channel so you can get more uh, videos just like this. And um, I'll see you on the flip side. Talk to you soon.